Learn how to install your pre-attached Nostalgic Warehouse door hardware in this quick video tutorial. Once you receive your hardware, open the box to check what is included. The box includes two pre-attached lever and plate assemblies, four machine screws, one strike plate with two wood screws, one face plate with two wood screws, one spindle, one latch, one plastic anti-rotation block, and one Allen wrench. For privacy door sets, you will also receive one privacy pin and one privacy release key. You will need a pencil, a Phillips head screwdriver, a drill with a 1 8 inch bit, and measuring tape. Remove any current hardware you may have on your door. If this is a new door, make sure there is already a pre-drilled borehole. Standard doors are 1 and 3 8 inches thick or 1 and 3 4 inches thick. This will determine which machine screws to use. Use your measuring tape to measure from the edge of the door to the center of the borehole. Standard back sets are either 2 and 3 8 inches or 2 and 3 4 inches. Place the face plate in its hole on the side of the door. Mark the holes with a pencil. Remove the face plate and drill holes where marked. Insert the plastic anti-rotation block into the borehole with the arrow pointing to the door's edge. If you have a privacy set, locate the privacy function hole on the latch. Make sure the threaded side of the privacy function hole is installed facing the interior side of the door. Insert the latch into the borehole and through the anti-rotation block. If you have a privacy set, make sure the non-threaded privacy release hole faces the outside of the door. The beveled side of the tongue should face towards the door jamb when the door is open. If it is facing the wrong direction, rotate the tongue. Place the face plate over the latch tongue on the edge of the door. Use the provided wood screws to attach the face plate to the door. Insert the spindle through the latch in an on diamond orientation with the button side first. Make sure you push the button down and hold down during insertion. Install the exterior half by sliding it onto the spindle. For privacy sets, the exterior half has one visible hole for the privacy release key. Make sure the privacy release hole is adjacent to the door's edge. For a privacy set, there is one hole for the privacy pin in addition to the two screw holes for mounting. Make sure the privacy pin hole is adjacent to the door's edge. Slide the interior half onto the spindle. Use the machine screws to secure the interior assembly to the exterior assembly. For doors that are 1 and 3 8 inches thick, use the 1 and a half inch machine screws. For doors that are 1 and 3 4 inches thick, use the 1 and 3 4 inch machine screws. Use the Allen wrench to tighten the hex screws on the levers on both sides of the door. For privacy sets, insert the privacy pin in its hole and twist to tighten. To ensure functionality, push the privacy pin in and check that the exterior lever does not turn. Mark and drill the holes for the strike plate. Place the strike plate on the inside of the door jamb and install with the provided wood screws. You have now correctly installed your beautiful vintage Nostalgic Warehouse hardware. For more information about Nostalgic Warehouse, contact our customer support team.